Hello, you guys. Welcome. Um, I have a question for you. So, what is your, are you making a New Year's resolution? And if so, what is it? Let me know down in the comments what it is. Um, I'm kind of going for a non-resolution. Like, doing more so what I want to see. Not necessarily focusing on the, what I want to do. But, not, but more so what I want to see. For example, um, with our finances, what am I, what's, what's the end game here? What, what am I trying to accomplish? And then I can figure out from what I want to accomplish, you know, the different steps that it'll take to get there. Now, the issue with me with resolutions is I don't do them. Half the time I even write goals and I'm all about it when I first write the goals and then I don't ever, I don't follow through with them. So what I'm trying to do this year is more so than a, rev, uh, a resolution or a goal or whatever, I'm what I'm trying to do is how do I want it, how do I, how do I want whatever, whatever, for finances for example. Am I wanting to put a whole bunch of money in the bank? Am I wanting to pay off debt? Am I wanting to pay down some on the house? Am I wanting to have a separate little fund over here so that I don't have to get into my emergency fund? Um, and if so, why? You know, why am I doing those things? I'm kind of going with the why this year. And with everything from my finances to my health to, to my house, um... And I, I saw a lady the other day. Her, I don't know if you guys know who she is. Um, if you don't, you got to go check her out. Her name is Cass and her YouTube channel is name is uh, Clutterbug. And she talks all about organization and whatever. Oh my gosh, she's great. You will love her if you're into that kind of thing. So she was saying that she has a word of the year. And I think that is fabulous, you guys. Uh, to me, that makes so much more sense rather than this huge grand um, idea of a resolution. Um, so I'm thinking that mine for this year will be, if I was gonna pick a word for the year, it's gonna be the word simple. And so, and I think I can make that apply to any area of my life. And so my, my goal is for my finances, for example, to streamline it. We have, you know, savings accounts, we have investments accounts, we have checking accounts, um, envelopes, we have all of these things and I have apps on my phone and I think what I want to do is just streamline those things down to the easiest possible way. Like I'm going to get rid of a handful of my envelopes because they're unnecessary now at this point. Um, it, you know, when we first started the envelope system, having a million envelopes was very important to me because it just kept everything organized. Um, but now we don't necessarily need those things because we don't overspend in, you know, these certain areas. And so I'm thinking that would be one thing. And as far as my house goes, as far as simple, I'm thinking of, of kind of going with how will I make dinner easier prepare you know easier to prepare how will i make myself actually do it it needs to be simple enough and easy enough to where it's kind of just as easy to do it as it is not to like and for my health for example one of those things is um i've decided instead of drinking coffee when i get home from work because that's the thing that my husband and i used to do we'd go through several pots a day uh, when I get home from work now, I don't make a pot of coffee. I'll put a bunch of, I'll run hot water through another little coffee pot that we have. Um, and then we can have, you know, hot water uh, with lemon and honey and whatever. Or we can do a, a hot tea. We're, we like hot things, hot drinks. So I'm thinking that would be an area, a, a simple thing that I can do. Um, and I... 
I love tea. I love, you know, water with lemon and honey and all that. So I just don't do it because I've been in this habit, basically, of making a pot of coffee when I get home, having a nice cup of hot coffee. But the thing with me is it's not the coffee. It's the hot. I love, I love the warm. And my husband's like that too. And so that's a simple thing that we've already started doing. And it's become, I mean, it's, it's great. Obviously drinking that would be better than the coffee. So, I mean, that's something that we're doing right now for our health. And then for my house, again, back to the house, I'm thinking, how do I want the house to feel? I need to keep that in mind, whether I'm buying things for the house, whether we're painting, whether we're looking for lighting. Um, for those of you who don't know, a couple years ago, we sold our, our pretty small home. I mean, it was like 1180 square feet. And we bought a larger home that's 2,800 square feet. So it is more than double the size of what our last one was. And so, and we bought a house that needs a lot of, a lot of renovation. It needs a lot, it needs a lot. And so we're kind of taking that in chunks and we're paying it all with cash. We're not getting any loans or anything. And so it's, it's been kind of almost occasionally different times, especially this year, it's been semi defeating, you know, the feeling of we're not making any progress, you know, um, this still needs to be done. And then, you know, of course, because it's 2020 and COVID or whatever, um, my income, you know, dropped quite a ways for a few months. And so that you know, set us back. And I know I did a video a while ago and I was explaining how I was kind of discouraged and it was, so I think the bottom line here is the theme is trying to take everything and like I said, you know, streamlining them to where whatever area of my life it happens to be, just making it simpler. You know, even stupid things like, I am not a techie person. I, it takes me forever to text. I think it's a pain in the butt. I'd rather just call. But I don't do that because a lot of, you know, I mean, I do call some people, but for example, when I'm calling my son or trying to get a hold of one of my kids or, you know, whatever, I'll text them because, I mean, that's kind of, I don't know. They, it just seems like it's more natural for them, more comfortable or whatever. Um, but I think even that, and have you ever noticed it takes like forever to have a conversation over text? You know, uh, what time are you going to be there? And they text back, well, I don't know because blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, and so you have, it's been, you spend 10 minutes having this conversation over text when you could have just called and been like, Hey, you know, you kind of coming over today, you bringing the kids, blah, 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 three minute phone call. It would have been so much simpler. And so, <laughs> um, that's, that's one of the things I'm going to be working on this year. Instead of texting, I'm going to call because it is a lot more simple. I know there's a, there's a spot for texting and it's super handy. And I, I, I agree it is in a lot of ways. But when I'm having to try try to have when I'm trying to have a conversation, it's going to be calling. That's what I mean. Um, so it, it'll just it takes less time. I can understand what is the idea behind what both of us are trying to say. I can hear, um, you know, all the little nuances of whatever. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that. To me, it's. It's a less of an irritation. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels that way. I'm sure a lot of people love texting. So in a nutshell, that's my goal this year is trying to not have one major uh, resolution because I know me and I've learned a lot about me over this last year and I know that I, I won't do it. So I think this is just the best way for me to do it. If you're like me, you know, you, most people will not 
complete January with their resolution in tow. Like, it's over. They, they already gave up on it, which sets your whole year up for a kind of failure. So I'm just going with the word. Just going with the word. And I'm going to try to apply it in every area that I can. So thank you guys for watching. And I would really like to hear whether you decide, you know, whether you're going to have a word or you just kind of, it's just kind of an idea that you have, or maybe you do have one of those awesome goals and you're actually the person that does them. I want to hear about all of those things. Okay, guys, until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.